Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Have a Beer with Zach. I am Zach, and I just got off work, and I'm sitting here relaxing. Uh, I have a nice cold Miller Lite. It is <clears throat> Monday night, Tuesday morning. It's about 3.30, quarter to 4 here. Uh, it's nice outside. It's, I want to say it's like 88. Beautiful weather. Today, we tap the keg. Um, I do have the, uh, the hand tap on it. I have not tried it yet. I've got a nice beer glass sitting here waiting. Uh, so this is a 50th video, 50th beer that we've had. Have a beer with Zach. And uh, the 50th beer is going to be my homebrew. <clears throat> it worked out perfect like that, I guess. Uh, I wasn't planning on it working out that way. I didn't never thought about it, but uh, it is working that way, which is great. So, hope everybody's uh, Monday is going all right or went all right. Uh, went and played golf this morning. I did pretty pretty decent. I had a, a couple of birdies. I had more than a couple. I think I had three or four. I had about three or four pars. Missed an eagle putt. I left it right on the edge, like a half an inch on the edge on a par four. Almost drove the green, putted it up. Just missed. Uh, so it was pretty exciting. Had a good time. Uh, came home, took a nap, went to work. <clears throat> but anyways, got another drink of this Miller Light left, and then we'll get into the homebrew. Uh, I'm sure I can figure out how to set you guys up, like in the fridge or something, so I can uh, get a good get a good pour. Anyhow, got one more drink this Miller Lite, and we're going to tap that keg. All right. We'll see. We can get you guys to turn. Maybe this. There you are. So... Here's the, here's the tap handle. Let's see if we can get a nice, nice easy pour. Oh, look at that. Just nice and slow. stop it there. Oh, look at that head on that beer. Oh my goodness. Let's get that tap handle back in there. We're pulling you guys out. Look at that. Wow, isn't that amazing? Check that out. So this here is I'm calling it 527 Red uh, because that's the day that I was supposed to drink it on, but I didn't. But I kept the name anyway. Let's see if we can get you up to light. It's got this nice dark color to it. So I did a red ale, but I uh, changed up the uh, malt bill a little bit. Uh, I added same some... Uh, uh, chocolate malt to it some really dark roasted malt because i wanted just a little bit darker of a color and i also wanted some uh hopefully some caramel toasted notes in there like uh uh like an amber ale has these toasty notes and i know i don't like amber ales but uh doing it with a red ale on a on a on a uh on that type of grain bill should really bring out some nice toasty flavors so uh, be the wrong way without further ado oh look at that let's give this baby a try it's 
not bad. I haven't made a brew in a long time, and that's not bad. It's nice and smooth. Um, so I took a hydrometer reading on it uh, before I kegged it, and I'm at 4.9% alcohol by volume. And it is nice and smooth. It's a little creamy, which is nice. Uh, and it does have some toasty notes. It's not, I don't get a lot of caramel out of it. Um, it's toasty in the back of my mouth. It's, it's nice. Mm. That is really good. That's a nice ale. It's, uh, it's got the right amount of carbonation to it. It's not supposed to have a lot of carbonation to it, as it's an ale, uh, but it is beautiful. Look at that nice color. Look at that beautiful color. Oh, isn't that nice? That is just nice. Oh, I'm going to have to say that that's not bad at all. That is very delicious, and uh, I can't wait to share this with some of my friends. Thanks for tapping the keg with me, guys. You know what? It's a, uh, it's a ta keg, keg tapping. You guys have to have another one with me. I'm going to set you back up here. I'm going to grab this tap handle. I'm going to pour us another one. That is just nice. That has turned out fantastic. Just fantastic. It's got a nice head on it. And this, oh, it settles up well. Oh, I'm just so, I'm very happy with this. This is, this is quite nice. Quite nice. I wish, uh, Wish all my subscribers uh, that are over the age of 21 could be uh, enjoying this this nice home brew with me. Mm. Boy, I'm going to be disappointed when this is gone. But there will be another one coming soon. There will be another beer that I'll make. I don't know what I'll make. But uh, this is great. And again, I want to thank you guys for having a beer with Zach. Please like, share, subscribe with your friends. Uh, newcomers, welcome. Uh, thank you very much. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good night.